Welcome to a very special edition of GOB TV Girls of Booze wow. in the House. That's right, baby. I'm God, Doug. I am Frank. That's Frankenstein. Don't let him lie to you. And anyway, we're here. <laughs> Frankenstein. <laughs> We uh we haven't done an episode of GOB TV, a full episode of GOB TV in a long time. So And I'm in full costume today. It's uh Yeah. It's yeah. uh it's scary, it's, isn't it? It's uh, you wanna, <laughs> it, it is that. It's Halloween. We thought that Halloween would be a fun time to kind of do another one, uh do some pumpkin beers, that kind of thing. Yeah, unfortunately. So unfortunately? <laughs> it's good for you, Frank. Get that yam. <laughs> get that yam in you. Get the yam Get, bills. I'm going to yam it in you. I don't know what yam that means. Pumpkin, so, yam pumpkin pie bills. Uh, this should be disgusting, so, actually. Yeah, this is not going to be great, I don't think. Have but we no ever sh- had a good... Uh, you know what you need to do, Frank? What? You need to chill. Oh, I need to chill. Like the beer in Aruba says, you need to is chill. That, is that... Oh, wow. Look at the plug right there. Huh? huh? Chill. I bet they're probably from the makers. From the makers of Balashi. No, they're never going to be closed. Balashi and chill, those are the two beers in Aruba. Yeah? Uh, yeah, I love it, Aruba. I love it. I love it. I wish I was there. Yeah. Uh, anyway, wow, that was aggressive. Instead of that, I'm in New Jersey recording a Halloween episode of GOB TV with me, with you. You are almost as good as being in Aruba. Right? Oh, so. I like that. See, now I feel good. I got these little butterflies in my stomach right now. Great. Let's move on. Any uh, <laughs> any Halloween stories, Frank? Any uh, well, any memories of your childhood? Of any good costumes? Yeah, or any um, good scenarios? I remember dressing up as a cop once. <laughs> yeah. Dropping off a All brown right. bag of shit and lighting it on fire on somebody's stoop, and that's probably the best memory I've ever had. So Halloween. you were a crooked cop. I am an asshole. <laughs> Great. And throwing eggs at people. You didn't do that as a child? No, of course not. I was civilized. Oh, you were civilized. Okay, I'm sure. I doubt that greatly. Did he grow up in the south? Shh. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, but sorta. Until high school age, yeah. Nothing good happens down there, right? That's not true. Plenty of, good, <laughs> plenty of good things happen in the South. I miss the South. I love the South. Our friends yeah, like, in the uh, South. The cocaine cowboys and... Uh... You're very disrespectful <laughs> to the South. They have delicious food. Yes. They have delicious drink. And great cocaine. They have great cocaine. Great cocaine. <laughs> Cocaina. Cocaina. Uh, I think you're going a little bit too South, Frank. I'm talking about the Southern United States. Oh, Southern U.S. Okay. You mean like uh, white suburbia? Exactly. White suburbia. <laughs> This is. Uh, I'm joking. If probably. you had racism at five minutes in <laughs> on your scorecard, you are right. Here we are. Drink. Is that a drinking game? They have the yeah, drinking game. It can be a drinking game. Uh, okay. um, anyway, so it's Halloween. Yes. Uh, Frank, thank you for asking. My favorite Halloween costume was an, <laughs> an ET costume that my mother made for me when I was a little kid. It was oh. like made out of like quilt material. My mother watches this, so if I'm speaking out of turn, I apologize. But. Uh, yeah. It was very thick and uh, very warm, and I probably was sweating. But it, I looked yeah. like ET. But it was like a big pillowcase. If you want to go that a route, big, well, a big quilt. If you want to go that route, probably the only Halloween that I remember dressing up for, apart from like as I got older, was my mom dressing me up in fake ninja garb. I got one of those uh, Bruce Lee slippers with the toe in like groove into it, and I still I can still picture the picture that we did in a vestibule in my apartment in New York City. Of me uh, fake posing as I'm about to kick the camera, but not even close because I didn't have any flexibility. Yeah, that was no, a little fat boy. <laughs> so, uh, it was actually, it's funny you said that because I, that, as immediately you said that, that's the first picture that came to my mind of uh, me in a fat ninja suit. <laughs> Just, <laughs> All right. That's fair. It was pretty, actually, it's, it's, uh, it was a good memory though because New York's a little different when it comes to Halloween. Uh, you don't have to go very far to get a lot of candy. You can sit in your building and go apartment by apartment. And maybe one, two stops, maybe the next building next door, and you have a bag full of shit. But do you have to hear about how unsafe New York is? Because that seems to always be the... the no, route. back then it was different. No oh, way. it was much safer. In yeah, the much safer. I mean, you can you get shot in the street, but not during Halloween. Yeah, <laughs> Just every other <laughs> It was a very respected holiday. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, you know Fine. how it is. Perfect. <laughs> uh, well, Frank, so uh, Halloween is famous for tricking and treating. I love a trick. And I ain't and I ain't trick love the kids. Uh, <laughs> we had a few drinks uh, yeah, before we started clearly. this, so I can't even get this out. Yeah. But I ain't into treating every trick that I'm meeting. Oh shit. Nah, 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 nah. Shake it, baby, shake it, baby, shake it like that. All I wanted. To, all right. Uh, oh man. Uh, so Frank, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna trick you to start. Oh. It, it's an IPA, not a not a pumpkin beer. We're gonna go into the gorilla sack here. Uh oh. Uh, and I figured, you know, trick or treat episode. We're gonna do all pumpkin beers. Spoiler alert: We're doing all pumpkin beers. But before that, we're gonna have a trick, Frank. We're gonna drink a little oh spicy what? pickle shots. Are you fucking kidding me? No, I'm you're serious. being serious. No, I'm being serious. 
We're gonna have oh you and I are gonna have a little spicy pickle shot. That's our trick before we move on to the treats. That's not right. What do you mean? It's good why, for you. Why would pickles are good for you? First of all, you don't like spice. No. And this is how you're gonna start the show. Yeah. This is horrible. Yeah. It's a spicy pickle shot. It's uh, I don't know what it is. Serve cold. It's vodka with natural flavors. This is not a good sign. This is gonna be disgusting. I'm sure of it. Why? Why? The original pickle shot originated in 1989. Um, I don't know, because uh, I thought I should punish you. What did I, what have I ever done to you? I don't know. You? you know, I don't. God. Oh, good. I can't open it. I can't drink it. Yeah, why Why won't these open? All oh, right, here we go. Here we go. That's disgusting. Are we just... Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is that pickle or horseradish? Yay! Oh, oh my God. That's oh, disgusting. that's a good call. It could be both. No, I'm not drinking that. Oh, man, that's going to be fantastic. All right, so here we go. We're going to uh, cheers no. on three, and we're going to cheers to uh, everybody having a happy, healthy, safe Hollywood se- Hollywood Halloween oh. season with spicy pickle shots. Let's get it started. Here's how we get the happy Halloween trick-or-treat. I want to see if you are actually you, drink this Are you first. going the whole way? Oh, I'm gonna, not, I'm not gonna, fucking sipping on this shit. You're going to go halvesies? Man, that's, that seems like a lot to shoot. How no? about we take a shot, and then we'll put it there and finish the rest at the end. And All right, here we go. How do you feel about pickles? Oh, oh, there's the heat. Oh, my God. Uh, really? Oh, man, the taste is good, but there's the heat. <gasps> Holy fucking shit. Oh, man. <clears throat> mm-hmm. <sighs> oh. It's not that spicy. Huh? Oh, that wasn't as bad as this. Oh, uh, you're Dominican, so you can take that. That's Holy not as bad. fuck, man. Dominicans don't like heat. Yeah, you say that, but that's he obviously keeps... a lie. Mm. Wow. I got to tell you, I would have another one of those, though. Oh. So. Um, you're a dick. My whole mouth is on fire. Mm-hmm. I think I just fucked up the rest of my night. Uh, I'm definitely going to have acid reflux now. <laughs> Girls and boys in the house, if you're following us along, if you meet us for the first time, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. If you're catching us from the Hopped Up Network, God damn it, Welcome. Welcome, Welcome to what we do here with WGOB Network on YouTube. WGOB Network everywhere you get your favorite podcasts. I'm, I went to full announcer voice here. WGOB Network. That's kind of weird. Do you get like these weird muted decibels that get higher? But it's an announcer, lower it's at announcer the same voice, time? right? Coming to you. We're live. here. Coming to you live. We are rocking and rolling. We are the girls of booze. Doug in the house. Frank in the house. Here we go, baby. That's, that's, you know. Is that like a wrestling thing? I don't know. No, it's not a wrestling thing, Frank. It's wrestling. live sports. Everybody knows about announcers. Ugh. Uh, anyway, so we, Man, uh, my taste buds are going to be fucked after that. We're going to get into a little bit of uh, pumpkin beer here. Are we? I hope so. I'll, I'll, I'll swallow scope right now. Unfortunately, they're all going to taste the same because my entire <laughs> everything is burning. Yeah. The first one, I, I got this because we needed a fourth beer. But to be honest with you, I don't know if this really counts because there's no pumpkin in it. Okay. But it is, however, from Bolero Snow Brewing. It's the Pumpkin Spice Mucciato. Was this pumpkin? Uh, well, yeah, but it's pumpkin spice. It's not pumpkin. So it's a milk stout. Why would you? And it was going straight to stout after that. Why would he do that? I didn't read it. I didn't read You're it. You're a piece of shit. You know what? All right. And we're, gonna, we're actually oh. wrapping this up. This was oh a very good God. episode. It's a great start. Oh, Listen, uh, follow us on uh, Girls of Booze on Instagram. <laughs> I didn't read <laughs> Instagram. it. Instagram. Fuck me. Christ. Oh. All right. It's a milk stout with cinnamon, nutmeg, all spice. Uh, yeah, all spice. It's a cinnamon st- Yeah. It's a milk stout with cinnamon, nutmeg, all spice. All spice. I can't do it. It's a milk stout with cinnamon, nutmeg, all spice, clove, vanilla, and coffee. Pumpkin spice mucciato, because obviously it's Bolero snort. <clears throat> so all the Bolero snorts have to have some sort of a cow reference to them. Yeah, that's a. This so. is, you, you've done well today. You've done, you're two for two, motherfucker. I want another one of those pickle shots. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. Supplies, motherfucker. Just keep pouring, motherfucker. All rise, motherfucker. Do not. No, no, no. Not even close. So anyway, 17 fingers ahead. 17. All all five fingers. Literally. It looks exactly how we expected, like uh, oil. Yeah, it looks car- a little bit like light oil. Caram- caramel uh You can head. sort of see a little bit of color towards the bottom. Yeah, so it's little, not like a pitch black beer. A little caramel I mean, I, head. I've got nothing but head here. My mouth is fucking on fire. It should be great. All I want to do is drink this right now. This might be the oh, right thing to drink do? after the last one. I Maybe. Should, to be honest. It might just like uh, destroy our palate completely. I'm sure that's how I planned it when I was uh, purchasing these. Yeah, this is a uh, void of light. It's very... You got a... 
a light ring you at the bottom because the light is shining through it with our uh, recording lights. But yeah, the the head is uh, like coffee ice cream yeah. colored. Yeah, it looks like espresso. Little soap side. It does look like espresso. Yeah, espresso. Espresso. I could use like a croissant right now. I could use any kind of bread to coat my tongue. Croissant. It um, if you smell it, Frank, it smells like coffee grounds. Does it? Yeah, that's coffee. Actually, it smells like pumpkin spice and coffee grounds. It smells like spicy coffee. Exactly. This is probably not the right thing to do right now. You just said a second ago that this was probably the right thing to drink. I know, but I'm, I regret it what I said a second ago. I regret drinking the spicy pickle shot. Yeah, I, well, who fucking brought up... Listen, I'm not even going to go back and forth for that. That was stupid. This is as stupid as that last one. The flavor wasn't bad, though. Stop it, lying. All right, anyway, let's focus here, Frank. Yeah. So this smells like coffee grounds because this can't be an hour. So this coffee, sm- uh, little spice, a little heat in there for sure. You smell... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I know you don't want to drink, but... You know, Jesus pork. Christ almighty. You smell like the cocoa names, right? Yeah, it smells... Yeah. yeah. Dark chocolate. A little bit, yeah, like like a dark chocolate. Um, the only spice I really kind of smell is cinnamon. It smells like coffee and like... It smells like a hot chocolate. It smells like a Dunkachino with like some cinnamon on it. And he, he got like a habanero in there. No, you're uh, smelling the pumpkin spice, the pickle shot. It's actually not all that bad. It's not that bad. You know why? Because our taste buds are fucking fucked up. Yeah, right for sure. Um, the pickle shot I should have saved to the end. I bet you, you know shit. Um, it where, is. Where are we on that one? Right? I know it's a little bit mute right now, but I really do think the la- the shot that we took to begin with is probably was fucking with us right now. I do too, because this isn't so bad. Let's come into a little bit. It's a little creamy. It's creamy. Very coffee essence. <laughs> it's um. Like a strong coffee, actually, like almost like a Colombian cup. Yep, cup, Colombian roast. A little cocoa. Is that was just gonna say? There's definitely some chocolate. Some chocolate. I'm still getting um, the sense of like a Dunkachino. Like a hint of like cinnamon, like just a tap of cinnamon on top. Cinnamon. cinnamon. A, ta- a tap of cinnamon. Tap of cinnamon. 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 Scott cinnamon. cinnamon. This is not bad. I actually, this is actually pretty. I, like I said, it's probably muted by the the pickle spiciness going on in my throat, but it tastes like chocolate coffee. It's not bad. I keep going back to the Dunkachino, or it tastes a little bit like uh, coffee ice cream. With like you've ever s- you've had a Dunkachino? Yeah, yeah, a lot. I, th- I thought you hated it. Before I found uh, Bang and Rain oh, okay. as my uh, go-to caffeine drinks of choice, Geo. I used to uh, drink, drink Dunkachinos because I don't like coffee. But if you put hot chocolate in the coffee, it kind of makes it a little bit more palatable to me. And then uh, sprinkle some cinnamon and allspice on it, and you have this. This, yes, and uh, as and snouts th- go, this isn't all that bad though. And, and yeah, 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 yeah. Right? And, it's stout, never, not a and never again after this, of course. Stout. Stout. I couldn't remember if it was a stout or a porter. Can you not tell it's a stout? No, but porters are dark too, Oh, you said porter. I would have hated it from the beginning. I it's the know. same. What the fuck? I mean, it's not the same, but a porter's lighter <coughs> than a stout. Porter, uh, lighter what? Well, it depends on the stout. They're the usually porter. more bitter and like uh, more chalky. You're more bitter and chalky. I can be. Are you ever going to finish this so we can get into some decent beer? Well, I can. We're having a pumpkin show, Frank. I can't promise you there's any decent beer. Oh, that's true. That's a good call. Bad, oh, bad. That's delicious. Yes. <laughs> that's delicious. Whoo. Oh, man. All right. Anyway, uh, what? Exactly. What were we saying about uh, my mom? Yeah. Well, uh, she's amazing. Lady. Oh, my mom likes Halloween. Yes. Uh, no, I don't know. And guns. And guns. She's my type of woman. Let me tell you something about my mama. My mama is strapped, motherfuckers. You want to try it? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Bitch, you thought. <laughs> you didn't expect that, did you? She comes out with the fucking Mossberg. Anyway. <laughs> the Mossberg sawed off. <laughs> all recoil. Listen, listen. <laughs> jokes aside, my mom will fucking yeah, kill you. All right? Look at me. She, Look at me, people. She my was, mom will kill you. And not drop her cup of coffee. Don't come to her house. She'll have a cup. <laughs> she'll have a coffee cup in yeah, her she'll hand. she'll have a coffee cup in one and hand. And shooting your face in the other. <laughs> <And> she'll blast <laughs> you in the next week in the other hand. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, She's going to hate you. That's all right. She knows it's true. It's a true and if you want to know it's true, pass by her place. Yeah, her at, address is <laughs> Pennsylvania City Hall. Pennsylvania City Hall. In Atlanta. Atlanta, Atlanta, Atlanta GA. Atlanta, what the Atlanta. fuck? Are you just making up there? <laughs> I was going to say Atlantic City. In Las Atlanta, Vegas, Nevada. At <laughs> Atlantic City. Borough of Las Vegas, Nevada. Oh, disgusting. It smells like burnt asshole. Go back to it. It smells a lot more like coffee and burnt asshole. Yeah. <laughs> 
Why are you looking at my shit? All right, don't look at my Bitch, shit. Bitch, my right? shit's empty. Oh, all right, all right. You motherfucker. I'm still reeling from the last one. All right, here we go. <clears throat> well, Frank, since you're, <laughs> you're all right, wow. do you need a minute? Uh, no, I'm since good. you finished performing, you want to you wanna rate that? Yeah, I'm going to rate Oh, we this. have a little rating. So- oh, wait, no, it's not. Never mind. It's normal. Wow. I think it's just out of the union. So let's see, either a drain pour, a flight pour. No, I'm, I I forgot. Uh, this not is solid. A, a solid 2.5. Yeah, you think it's that yeah, high? Yeah, it huh? tastes like uh, it tastes like coffee with water. <clears throat> oh my god. Um, pickles, uh, cocoa nibs, and we should keep score. What are we keeping score for? We're not you have another spicy pickle shot? Have, no, never. We got a whole bag full of them. Motherfucker! I'm just kidding. You better throw that shit in the garbage. I'm just kidding. You just save one for uh, Jay and Nina. That would be funny, actually. Jay and Nina. Yeah, 2.5. This is actually um, amazing compared to uh, the pickle shot that we just had. I don't, I don't understand your hate of the pickle shot. Because my whole, my teeth are are fucked for the rest <laughs> of the night. That's why. I feel like... Uh, you ever had like um, a New York deli sandwich? And they had like that little... Yeah, a uh, hundred of them. Shut up. And they had that little like tiny, garlic pickle? Like a little tiny pickle. You see that? I don't get tiny pickles in Listen, New York, buddy. I was being honest. Like, you ever go to, what's it called? Shits or Schmitz? What the <laughs> fuck? In New York City? <laughs> and they put like they put like a big ass deli sandwich, all the roast beef <laughs> and, the, and the rye bread. It's, uh, what's and that, I can't think of it. Now I'm thinking of shit. What's the name of the place? <laughs> it's Schmitz. It's not, you it fucking Schmitz. jerk. Schmitz what is the name of the place? It's Schmitz or something like that. It's like Schmitz. Oh my God. It's Schmitz. No, sh- sh- shut the fuck up. Stop sh- saying the name. Schmitz. Schmitz. Shimmitz. <laughs> it's Shimmitz. It's, 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 it's Schmitz. It's, uh, oh my right, God, right, dude. Right. Here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. Come on. <laughs> oh, it's uh, Katz's Deli. It's the one I'm thinking of. Katz. Oh, yeah, but that's here. I'm talking about New York. There's one in New York. No. The one with the sandwiches of this thing? Schmitz is New York. It's not Schmitz. Okay, fuck. Hold on. Hold on. You're thinking of Schlitz malt liquor. Cost. Well, cost. Pause. <laughs> All right, whatever. Oh, we're not going to shout them out because their sandwiches look we're like gonna... they're a fucking asshole. Anyway. I've seen more folds in think, front. Think of a prototypical... Prototypical. 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 prototypical <laughs> pickle, pickle. Deli with a big-ass piece of rye bread and a bunch of meat stacked to the fucking brim. Think of cats. And... Or cats. Is. Like cats. And a tiny pickle on top, right? And then this is the reverse. This is like a big-ass pickle. Like a real pickle. A real a, garlic with a, pickle. With a miniature... Uh, a little tiny sandwich. Deli sandwich. Like a little sandwich you get in a Throw Bloody a Mary. On the top. That's exactly what we had before this. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty good. I'd eat that. Right? Anyway. Yeah, you would. Uh, I'm going to go 3.5. You, wow. That's fucking impressive. Mostly because I don't remember what you said because it's been 20 <laughs> minutes, which we won't know by editing. Yeah, okay. Nice uh, but it wasn't so bad. I'm sure that's a, a symptom of my taste buds being fucked up. But as no <laughs> stouts go, this one wasn't so bad. Yeah, okay. So 3.5, okay. what'd you say? 2.5. 3.5 is all around. That's the pumpkin spice <laughs> muchiato milk stout with cinnamon, nutmeg, you allspice, muchiato? clove, muchiato. muchiato. That's what it's called, dick. Oh, it is called muchiato. <laughs> I'm trying to get through it, man. Don't fuck with me when I'm trying to get through it. I was on a roll. Milk stout with cinnamon, nutmeg, cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice. See, this is why I said don't fuck with me when I'm trying to get it. Now I can't get it back. Allspice. Milk stout with cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, clove, coffee, and vanilla. Allspice. Allspice. Very good. So that's one down. That is Mercifully. fucking... Delicious. Should we rinse these out? We should rinse these out. I can't out. wait to uh, drink the next one. Well, you ready for another one? Yeah. I think uh, anything's better than the first two. Right. Actually, the answer didn't matter because either way, you're getting another one. So let's dive in here again. Oh, uh, this should be great. Into the Jack o' Lantern of Horrors. What is that? A fucking bag of chips you got going on? Uh, it's a bag of uh, frozen vegetables that I don't have any ice. Well, I appreciate oh. you left me alone about it. <laughs> So next out of the sack here is uh, just up with these beers right ship now. Bottom, they're all fucking pumpkin beers, Frank. You're rare. I mean, the, I know, the, just, uh, I'm looking at the labeling. It, just, it looks like a two dollar beer. They're all two dollar beers. <laughs> it's uh, ship bottom brewing. It says two. It's, it, what? It says two dollars right there. It says two row. Oh, two row. Ship bottom <laughs> brewing, Imperial Pumpkin Ale. Wow. That's uh, nine point four percent alcohol by volume. Jesus. It's an ale brewed with pumpkin. Cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, and vanilla beans. So all the same as the last beer, except it's uh, got pumpkin in it. It's not a stout. And it's an ale instead of a stout. It's a seasonal classic crafted with tons of... That does say... Is it U.S.? I'm reading that as us. A a seasonal classic crafted with tons of U.S. two-row barley and a special blend of pumpkin pie spices that is rounded out with a subtle vanilla bean flavor. Man, I love me an American beer. An American pumpkin beer. 
Did I not give you enough beer? Whoa, whoa, whoa wait a second. No, wait. you're all head, dipshit. No, 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 no for sure. No, 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 no nothing. No, look at that. Look at my head and yours. Okay, and right. I have definitely have more beer already than you. Bottom, it's going to go to there. Yeah. It goes to the bottom of the O, which is when it all uh, evens buddy, out. That's buddy, where it's going to go. Buddy, look at it. Look so it's it. a clear caramel colored uh, beer. Okay. Right. Slightly, slightly tan head, yeah. soap sutty. One yeah. and a half fingers. It looks if like not a. Two. Or you could pour it like Frank and pour four fingers ahead. Like a maple syrup. Looks like maple syrup. That is an amazing call, actually. Yeah. It looks like natural maple syrup. Yep. It's clear-ish. It's or, got like a, it's got like a chill haze, but it's pretty clear. That it's, and like a red hail hue to it too, as well. I don't know what red hail is, yeah, but red, it looks a like red, a, red ale. No, nah, that's not what you said. It does look a little bit like a Killian's Irish red. Killian's Irish red. My first so beer what? ever, legally, by the way. Really? Is that your first? When beer? I turned twenty-one, I went to a Ruby Tuesdays with my girlfriend and my two friends. At the time, what was her name? Uh, which one? He said he my girlfriend at the time, Chelsea, was her name. Oh, oh. And then my two friends at the time, Nate, Beautiful Soul. Nate, She's a great driver. Nate, <laughs> <laughs> why are you fucking dragging her on her drive? Uh, 25 years uh, later. Oh, man, I'll never forget that day. Uh, yeah, uh, we definitely almost died that day. In a uh, Saturn L2, whatever the fuck those yeah, things were called. Fuck it was. Uh, Just, uh, and my two friends, on. Jason and Nate, I was the only one that was 21, so they took me to Ruby Tuesday in the middle of a blizzard so I could buy my first legal beer, and it was a Killian's those Irish. Those are real ride. friends. Killian's Irish Red. Wow. I didn't ever drink it anymore. Is that the last time you had it? Uh, no, I've had it a couple of times since then. Oh, okay. I, uh, you know, it's one of those things when you're 21 and you're coming up, you think you're sophisticated. If like, I'm not, I don't drink Miller Lite. I drink Killian's Irish Red. And people are like, yeah, okay, go fuck yourself. Yeah. I still say that to you. Yeah, well, that's true. It wouldn't be. This smells like the last one without stout. It smells like the last uh, one with no chocolate. It smells sweeter. Yeah, because it smells like an ale. It smells a little bit like apple juice. It's weird. It does smell like an apple. That's a good call. Right? This smells like a harvest beer. Like a, like a heavy cider. Yeah, that's weird. It does. It smells like a cider, like an apple. Uh, it smells a little bit caramelly. Yeah. Interesting. Wow, that's weird. It smells better than it tastes. You know what it tastes like? Uh huh. It tastes like a a mix of a a fucking like pumpkin beer and uh like a no, like you're halfway there. Listen, and like a it is Trogues, a beer. Trogues like Christmas type beer. Like uh, what's probably the spices? That's a fucking good pull though. The right? Trogues and the yeah, Trogues. Right? It tastes like beer. Trogues and like like a the mix Mad of Pumpkin. Seriously. All right, am I crazy? No, I'm sure that's the spice, but yeah, yeah I can see what you're saying. Oh, cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger. I still taste uh, pickle. I still it's taste a little bit of pickle too, actually. So, it is much lighter than the last beer, obviously, because it was a stout. This was not. Very caramelly. A lot of caramel. Like uh, toasted malts. It tastes a little bit boozy too, which it really isn't. I don't know. If really? I, I don't remember if I said it. Nine point four percent alcohol by volume, I don't and it's the... fresh. It, uh, I don't know. You don't get a, like a booziness. I get a little bit. There's of a, a booziness. booziness too. Uh, I get that. I get more of like that malty boozing. I can see it right. Yeah, the maltiness and the booziness are hand in hand. Yeah, almost like a burnt malt, like a <clears throat> like the kennel burnt, like the kennel like uh, just burnt at the bottom, like you left it on for too long or something. <laughs> it's burnt caramel. Yeah. Whoa, oh man, that man. tastes coming out of my mouth. Housing. There are some horrors happening back here in the in the midsection. Yeah, that sure. that spicy pickle shot didn't help. I feel like I should have like a mad scientist look going on. Come <clears throat> on, costume. Can he? Here, that would be I, fucking hilarious. Can I do it? Huh? Yeah. Oh wow, this this out here. How's that? You look like Beavis and Butthead. You look like Butthead right now. I don't think you can see that on camera from the distance, but. I think uh, How's you that? should leave it like that. That's fine. Where? Hold on. Let, yeah. me do, let me do the same. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, let, hold me, on. let me. Let me. Yeah. You got to leave that on right there. I like that. It's like it has a very Wayne's World looking thing going right now. That's cool. I like it. Happy Halloween. What's that guy? What's that Jimmy Neutron thing you got going right now? Jimmy Neutron? Is that what it is? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, for sure. The glasses. Let me tell you something. You can see better now, though, right? I need a fucking hair. Frank, let me ask you a question. Yeah. If these were real glasses, you think I'd keep them on? I have, like, the thickest contacts on the planet. I couldn't mm-hmm. put these. These are those blue light blockers? Are those the ones that you used to, like, see whores or no? 
No, it actually doesn't show you whores, but uh, it does oh. block like the harmful blue blue lights that come off of computers and stuff oh, is that from affecting for? your eyes. Wow, you're that old, huh? Yeah, you know, I'm like 70. That's, that's so no big weird. deal. That's so weird. Oh, that work, ladies! Does, does that work with these uh, fucking uh, lights we have going on here? Uh, well, we're going to find out. <laughs> is, my, is my hair standing out? Is this a good look, you think, or? I like it. I think you're cute regardless, no? Huh? Oh. You're so dreamy. Oh. <laughs> I'll tell you. No, 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 it's not that oh, serious, right? Jesus. Literally, I was, I was going to flip the whole table over. <laughs> I would have flipped this whole bitch up right now. It should have been end over. There would be no table to land. Well, that's that's horrible. <laughs> Very aggressive, I know. You ever gonna finish that? So I can get the fuck off on this one. Oh man! Wow! <laughs> what is that? A fallen soldier? Yeah. In case you uh, you tried to pour it. Oh yeah. That's what I'm gonna try to do. Get rid uh, of that. I've, I've seen you done worse. Anyway, so it's uh it's a little bit caramel. It's Caramel-y. Uh, <laughs> very toasty. Almost like a like a fire police beer, right? Just like I don't even know what that means. I don't know. It's just like if you're sitting in front of a fire and you have nothing else to drink, like a real good IPA, you'll drink some of this shit. Right? Here's what Makes I do sense. now. I need to find a hat. Because oh, no, this fine. can't stay. Hey, you're fine. You'll be fine. Where are you going after this? Because uh, huh? I feel like I look like Rachel Maddow, and I don't really want to no, have that look. look. I'm not dressing up as Rachel Maddow for Halloween. That's a good. That's a good thing, though. Actually, you could. Uh, Great. You could uh, did you rate this or no? So um, we can get no. the fuck out of this one. I'll give this one a three point five compared to the last one, just because. Uh, oh shit! Oh man, that was pretty bad. Is wow that pickle is still coming up? I told you before. I said before, don't burp. It's definitely more. It's it's more muted compared to the stout. I feel like it's easier to drink. It's a little sweet. Not chalky, smooth on the mouth. It's a drinkable beer, not something I would look forward to, but I could have this all day compared to the last two. Yeah, I'm gonna give this a uh, a flat out three. It's uh, it's just okay. It's I don't know. It's nothing exciting about it. Not bad. Not my thing. Just an ale filled with pumpkin spices and pumpkin, and it's just sickly sweet and malty and just I don't know. It was okay. It's neutral. So you you thought neutral. You thought this was worse than the stout. I know. I don't know why I'm saying that, but uh, yeah, it's I don't know. What I, it's Halloween, Frank. So yeah. I'm just saying all kinds of crazy shit. <laughs> you know I mean? Well, that's two down, man. I, it's two down, and I tell you, I feel awful. I have never felt better to just get through this. We're halfway through. So let's reach. I decided I'm going to stay with the fucked up hair and this in like the it. glasses. It looks pretty good. This is my. Uh, what's up, ladies? Wow, no, I, don't know. That's I don't know what that is. All right, here we go. Let's dive into the gorilla, the, uh, the uh, gorilla sack here. Gorilla sack of gorillas, sack of shit. The gorilla sack of gorillas sounds like too many. Oh gorillas. my god, this looks better. Oh, here we go. This is from. Um, Never mind. Blue Point. Blue Point Brewing. That should be great. This is their. Imp- it's an imperial something. Blue oh. Point's Imperial Series Number Four, Big Mother Pumpkin. Big Mother Pumpkin is a nine percent alcohol by volume. Something. It's an imperial pumpkin ale. With spices and natural flavors, nine percent alcohol by volume, featuring cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, and cloves. These are all going to taste the same. It's uh, an imperial pumpkin ale with spices and natural flavor, including cinnamon, nutmeg, and allspa- uh, allspa- allspace. 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 Why can't all I spaces. fucking do this? It's like a social media. I can't get <laughs> yeah. past it. I, did you check my allspace? Uh, allspice and clove. Yeah. So it's going to taste like every other beer that we've had so far. I can't. I can't. Is these this- are like cloudy. I can't do it. Anymore. I know. <laughs> Knock this fucking! I will say though, this is probably the worst time of the year for beers. That can't I'll possibly. Take, be I'll true. take the Christmas beers over this shit all day. No, I'll take pumpkin beers. Over. Well, what? no, no, you're right. No, Are you're you right. Crazy? No, no, I agree. I agree. Now that I'm thinking about it, the I only thing that beers. I kind of like about this time is like there's a couple of very good Marzins that usually come out around here. I know we should have done a Marzin show, like yeah, an Oktoberfest show, yeah. instead of a pumpkin beer show. Yeah, but you sure. know, did you do the last one here? Yeah, see, I went first because you poured time. like a fucking jerk. Uh, God, this looks look like this. This okay. Shut up. Right. This looks like a beer made of honey, right? It does not look like a beer made of honey. Yes, it does. It looks like a beer made of my nightmares. That too. Let me oh. ask you an important question as okay. we're looking at this. How's my hair? You look sexy now. Perfect. Now you look sexy. Perfect. <coughs> uh, too sexy for this beer. Too sexy <laughs> for <laughs> this. Uh, <laughs> too sexy <laughs> for this. Uh, he doesn't say like, words. Like I know he doesn't say words. Like I know he doesn't say words. Do you like the album? Um, too sexy for you this. Like the album? Uh, I like like three songs. Okay. I like uh, I like it better than Kanye's album. 
all that. It's not better than J Balvin or. Uh, I well, I don't really Jay listen Cortez. to J Balvin. I like like two J Balvin songs because it's not really made for me. How about J Cortez? Who? J Cortez. I don't know who that is. This is uh, it's clear. It's uh, you clearly have more beer than me now. Huh? Of upset. course, because you're a funk and jerk. Can we even this out? <laughs> no, you go fuck yourself. Come on, man. The last it's, one I have more. It's clear. It's got a little bit of a chill haze, yeah, but it's, it's a clear uh, beer. It's a caramelly color. Yep. Slightly, just slightly off white head. Two fingers. Is that a slight pumpkin here, to say the least? Maybe that's like a pumpkin here. Yeah, like a I little guess that's, pumpkin here. That's the first one that's like a straight up pumpkin yeah. color. It's like a light orangish color. It's not a uh, oh, good lacing. Very good lacing, actually. It smells like a pumpkin beer. I mean, what the fuck else are you yeah. going to say? It smells like the other two beers, just without the coffee Ooh, in the first this one. one like, this one's straight pumpkin, though. <sighs> yeah, it smells like at the inside of a pumpkin. Yeah, like very like seedy. It smells like I took like cinnamon, sugar, and all that kind of stuff and dumped it in the inside of a pumpkin. Very grainy. Feels weird. I don't know about grainy. You ever had like that? Uh, what's that silt that's inside here's, the here, pumpkin? Here's what I'm gonna tell you. That white silt every t- fucking thing in the pumpkin. Racist. Every time you, <laughs> every time I met you, piece of shit. Every time you, <laughs> every time you ask me if I had something, the answer is always no. I don't know why you keep asking me. I was just, I you that. know, when I was growing up in DR, we had this drink that we made out of the inside of a pumpkin, and we mixed oh, it we with don't. fucking cream, and then uh, like uh, mucha, mu, muffaletta, and then we had some uh, macchiato in there. You didn't have it? No, bitch, I didn't have it. I grew up in Virginia. Uh, Dominicans don't you have pumpkins for yeah, one? Yeah, okay. It's a joke. We have squash. Everything though. was like squash. It's the same thing. <laughs> oh, you didn't have this one gourd. You had this other. Yeah. Just yeah. a very weird gourd, though. There was a time when everything was like, oh, it tastes just like a Malta. You never had a Malta? No, bitch. I never had a fucking Malta. I don't drink. You know, you complain. I don't use this reference anymore because you don't like them. So, oh, fuck I don't yourself. know if I don't like and them. It, I've never had them. Exactly. You've had two years, three years to try them. And you still haven't. So, Here, I got news for you. Okay. We've been doing this for like six years. Wait. We've been doing this for five years. Four. Five. That was no no no. That was made after know, you after and I had already started writing and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Little known fact, we started as a writing crew. Yeah. And instead now you get to look at our pretty faces. You don't like to write, so it's uh it's okay. That's not true. I wrote a lot more than you did. I you wanna, don't like to write. I like to write actually. It's you just don't that like to write. I do. You don't like to write. Clearly you don't, or else okay. the the website would still be working. Do you want me to start writing? Because I will. Because I yeah, have a lot to ahead. say. Can you write me a story? Write me a short story. So the one thing I do smell in this, which is kind of weird, is like um, it's like a bitter, grainy pumpkin smell to it. Very stringent. Like uh, grainy mustard pumpkin? Pumpkin yeah, like, mustard? Like seedy. It's, it's just weird. There's something off, off-putting to me. There is kind of like a... Um, like a musty... I don't know, like a... Yeah, like a musty, earthy, like... Like if I if I poured so pumpkin weird. if I poured pumpkin beer into my clothes and then left my clothes laying on the floor for too long... I got it. Dijon mustard. I'm not even joking. Well, you said mustardy before. No, but Dijon That's what you said. So, so it's like I a pumpkin know. mustard? I said musty, but this is like mustard. Like a Dijon mustard. Yeah, no, it smells like a little bit of a mustard seed in there, but I'm sure that's got to be what? What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? The allspice? I don't know. Is it? Whatever. No, is it it's not the allspice. It's Spice. So you can't say it today. Allspice? No, uh, allspice is what I kept saying. Allspice. Because you keep fucking me up as I'm talking. <clears throat> oh, oh, we're going in. Ooh. I'm not going to lie. This is actually tasty. Sweet notes. Man, that's much better. Than, it's much better than it smells. It tastes a lot like a red ale. I like it. It's not bad, actually. Big mother pumpkin. Pumpkin. <laughs> mother. Some pumpkin. of those words are correct. Big, Big mother motherfucker. pumpkin. Surprise, motherfucker. Actually, some plies, motherfucker. Some f- supplies, motherfucker. Doing this? I'm some fries, it. motherfucker. All rise, motherfucker. I guess you do. No, I don't little. get. Any, I don't think any of these you're ever going to get pumpkin. Take a little. Take a little. Pumpkin's got to be probably the back end because every one of these beers is all about the spices, the yeah, allspice, spice, the spices. cinnamon, the clove, That's the what it comes down to, Yeah. <clears throat> Salute. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. This is actually pretty good. <clears throat> it's not I bad. Like, I like. Uh, I like all the, the the taste notes on as well. The taste notes. Yeah, the taste as notes. opposed to the small notes. I'll take the taste over small notes any day. I don't know if that's a thing. It is a thing. All right. The notes of the taste. <laughs> the taint of the beer. All right. That's definitely not a thing. <laughs> It's not that bad. Actually, it's pretty good. I was I'm very surprised by this, especially coming out of Blue Point, because I don't think I ever had a good uh, drinking experience. That feels douchey. <laughs> that feels douchey. 
This one still tastes good. It's not bad. Not bad. Yeah. It's really not bad. You get a lot of that caramelly taste at the end. At the end, the once we were one, sitting yeah. here listening to your story about how much you don't like me, uh, no. it warmed up a lot, and like some of the caramel came out. And uh, I don't know. I guess I'll go first, right? I'm going to give it a uh, 3.75. Wow. It's that is uh, disgusting. It's, really? I don't know. Sorry. It's uh, as 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 these beers have gone. It's uh, it's pretty good. The the sweetness was nice. Caramelly flavor was good. Uh, I don't know. I'm a I'm a half I'm a half fan. I'm not a fan of you just burping that pickle juice in my face because I feel like I'm gonna throw up now. Okay, so I'm gonna go with a 4.0. I actually think oh, that. Oh, but 3.75 is too much. Yeah, no, I thought I thought you were being an idiot for going not oh. going so low. All right. Um, I feel like the the flavor profile on this is actually very good. It was sweet. It was toasty. It was um, sweet, toasty. <laughs> it well, was sweet and toasty, but sweet, I feel like toasty, it was sweet and toasty. It's, it's slight, slight spicy. I think this is one of those beers that I feel like, all right, this this kind of is a good uh, rendition of actual pumpkin season, right? To me, in my opinion. And I'm very right. surprised it came from Blue Point. Yeah, me too. So that's the Blue Point Imperial Series for Big Mother Pumpkin. Pumpkin Ale. Mother Pumpkin. From uh, Blue Point. Well, it's time for four. Are you ready for four? Can we please get over this already? I, Let's do I something can't. real quick, Frank. Do this. Can you do it? Cuatro. Perfect. Can you do it on the other hand? Great. I can't. And I didn't know this. This is an actual syndrome. For all you people at home, this is the educational part of the show. This is a syndrome. Look. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know what the camera's going to pick it's up. It's arthritis. I can't turn my thumb without my finger curving it. No, it's called like, uh, I forget the syndrome. It's an actual syndrome. And apparently it has something to do with the tendons when I was forming when I was born. There's a surgery where they split the tendons and I, cut one I have a feeling that happened like you guys were look, like wrestling in the backyard. No, 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 literally. Look, I thought it was because my, my, the tip of my finger got slammed in a car door when I was a little kid. But look, I can't. Bro, you're fucking weirdo. You're if not... I hold the thumb down, I can do it. Look. Right? But I can't. I can't hold the finger down. Wait, hold on. I can't pull the finger up. That's what I can't do. You can't pull the finger up and do it, but I can hold the finger down or hold the thumb down on me. Look. Bro, you're a fucking weirdo. You're I, a weirdo. I have lost... Can you do this? Put your hand up like this. Okay. Put your thumb out. Fingers up like this. That. And that. Okay, good. Some guy at my job was like, you can't do it. Nobody can do it. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? I can do it. I'm like, what are you talking about? What the fuck? Anyway. He's like, oh, shit, you're, you're flexible. I'm not. <laughs> you're, <laughs> a, you're a superhuman. Yeah, I'm one of the Avengers. I don't know what to tell you. All right, here we go. Number four. We're almost oh, we'll here. Take Frank. your wife. Uh, Frank. I'm joking. Frank, you're going to be excited because this is tiny. Oh, it's, thank you. Just the way I like him. Nope. Just the way Doug likes him. What the fuck was that? Huh? What was that? No, no, it's this one here, right here. So this is uh, proudly brewed in New Jersey, in Jersey City. This is the pumpkin spice ale crafted with Hunter. Hundred percent gluten, hundred percent gluten free ingredients from Departed Souls. Our good friends, Departed Souls. Oh, we actually, I love uh, we actually spent some time in Departed Souls a couple of years yeah, ago. A couple of years. Uh, ago. It's called Ghosts of Pumpkins Past. Ghosts of Pumpkins Past Sorry. from Departed Souls Brewing, brewed with hundred percent gluten free ingredients. This is gonna be fucking. I gotta be honest with you. When I bought it, I thought it said it wasn't gluten free, but I, I just realized that Departed Souls they do a lot of gluten free stuff, right? This is going to be atrocious. Proudly brewed in Jersey City, New Jersey, crafted with 100% gluten-free ingredients. I will say, Departed glad- Souls, not just a name. Gluten-free beer, not a gimmick. No, it is a gimmick. Uh, the wort will bubble. Bo- oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, the wort will bubble. Brewed with millet, buckwheat, malted rice, quinoa. What are we doing? Why, why are what we are we doing? doing right now? I'm glad that this is like a, a half a beer. And gluten this is like a departed like offering. <laughs> Never again am I gonna have a, if you ever bring a fucking beer from them. And gluten free, you brought me here the first time I ever like we yes, ever went. And there. I regretted it. I didn't do it on purpose. And gluten free, no, stop it. They had a nice place actually. The nice, glu- the place was nice. Not no, the there was a good time there. And gluten free oats the, in combination the with good, not the beers. And gluten free oats in combination with pumpkin, seasonal spices, and hops, we have concocted a scary good pumpkin beer. Yeah. Many pumpkins were harmed in the making of this beer. May they rest in peace. Ooh. Brian from Departed Souls went ahead and put his uh, 
His his two his, his two his uh he his put two his, tents. He put his signature on it. Oh, that looks good. That's a solid beer pour. Actually, that was a great pour. So it looks like all the other beers. Yeah. They all have the same hue to it. Yeah, tell me it's the same beer. We're drinking Slightly literally lighter or darker than we're the last literally one. drinking the same beer over and over and over again. Same like it's the uh, same look. The same. It's actually a little bit darker than the last beer. Yeah. Like a the light, head's the same. Light, it's like a, it's a like slightly off white. Head. Yeah, a slightly yeah. off white head. A little bit soap setty. Very very heady, right? Very uh, finger and a half. Yeah. Dec- smells just like the other beer. Oh, decently. Oh well, actually, this one smells sweeter. Oh wow, this one smells like a like a tea almost, like a very herbal tea. Like a pumpkin tea. Like a pumpkin, very herbal. Chamomile and pumpkin. I don't know, had never had chamomile tea. It no. smells like a pumpkin ice cream. Yeah. Actually, that's a, like a sherbet. Sherbet. <laughs> Whatever sherbet. that word is. <laughs> like a sherbet, you're saying? Pumpkin sherbet? Yeah, uh, dude, it's like, it's like burnt caramel. Yeah. A little right? bit of caramel it's in actually there. Very, it smells very, very good. sweet, very pumpkin y. More pumpkin y yeah. than the other three. Definitely smells sweeter. The other three were like a focus on like the spice part of it. The, this one feels like more pumpkin y with very like a touch of cinnamon. Like, right? Yeah. Very pumpkin candy. This one smells a lot sweeter than the other three. I like it. I like the smell. You don't know. You don't no, know. The like smell. It. I said the smell. Well, that's mute. That's what? Mute. 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 Tastes like a pumpkin pilsner. It tastes like a cinnamon pilsner. Or whatever. I'm getting like all cinnamon. Oh, you motherfucker. I guess I'll finish this off. Oh. Ah. Not bad, Frank. You want to write? Oh, you still got time. Yeah, I haven't been a fan of pumpkin beers ever, actually. So what the oh, fuck? well. Yeah, oh, I, you motherfucking. Not, I've not been a fan either, and I think that uh, you should probably. Does this count? Did we do no backseas? I fucking got you is first. It, is, is that a bullshit. thing? No backseas? Are we in Yeah, fun? no backseas is a fucking implied rule, Frank. Are we in kindergarten? <laughs> can we be? This is the real world, bitch. You don't get what you want. <laughs> can we go back to Can we go back to kindergarten where I don't have to drink this? No, it's oh, fine. You're, you, I think you'll be able to drink that. No problem, sir. Frank, you have no chill at all. Not a. You're a douche. Not a fucking grain of it. I just want to be honest. I didn't want to drink all of it, but it was very good. That actually is probably the better beer. Oh, and man. that's vegan, right? Or what the fuck it's called? Gluten free. Gluten free. It's pretty so same maybe this shit, won't right? fill my stomach up, even though yeah. you know gluten's yeah, not my problem. You're probably still gonna shit out your mouth, but nah, I don't. Sh- <laughs> <laughs> maybe. It's possible. Hey, anyhow. So what do you uh, get? Right? You, it's very caramelly, sweet. It's like a. It's pretty sweet. It's actually the sweetest of the four, I think. So do you actually appreciate this beer or no? Yeah, I, you know, it's a weird thing where like I think that we should have gone in reverse order because I like this one. I like that one. Yeah, the other two. Yeah. Mm. So I will say I'll, I, expe- I expected oh, worse. Done. Yeah, of course I'm done. It's in your glass. Oh, that's right. Um, I forgot all about that. I um I expected worse out of the gluten. Jesus Christ, you okay? It bud? was a, it was that much and it hit me right here. Right Do you? There. I expected worse out of the gluten beer. I'm not gonna lie. I know, and it's the thing. Like I don't know if you remember this, but we went there. Yeah. And it's like, oh, gluten free beers, and they have the other beers that are like most definitely not gluten free, kind of a thing. Yeah. But all the beers are pretty good. I mean, like, what's I guess the the quinoa and stuff? I guess makes it good. I don't know. But it doesn't matter. All things considered, all things considered, it's not that bad. It's not that bad actually. It's pretty good. Even though I didn't want to drink it no more, just because it's just like an overload of like pumpkin spice. And I got to tell you, of all the beers you could have poured in my glass, even though I hit you first, I'm glad it was this one <laughs> and not uh, that one. Yeah, that one was probably you. You looked out. I'm gonna rate this beer. Hit it. I'm giving this motherfucker a 4.0. <laughs> Just on the basis. All right, we're going to head out. I'm gonna base, on the basis of it was better than everything that I've had today. So not only am I rating it, I'm already calling for the best beer of the night. But I will say, even though I poured most of it in your cup, which is glorious. All of it. By it the way. It was actually a very good beer. It was actually very good, very sweet, toasty. Like the burnt caramel taste, I like that. I feel like I should have had like a, I don't know, some like Noel bread or something. No, what the fuck is Noel bread? I don't know. I just want to bring that Christmas in, bread. I want to bring in Christmas, Noel bread, Christmas into into like uh, Halloween. 
What is Noel bread? It's a good beer. I want to, I want to bring another <laughs> season. In. I don't think Noel okay. bread is good beer. Not what is Noel bread? bread? It's bread. Bread from Christmas. How's that? I want to bring it into Halloween. All of this feels made it up. Is, is that a thing? It is Noel bread? Up. Noel bread, yeah. You, you ever had, had it? it? No. What the fuck? No, of course it's I've like, never had it's it. It's like a fruitcake. It's fruitcake. Yeah. So it's fruitcake. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Actually, it was one of the better beers tonight. I think it was uh, toasty, sweet, caramelly. Toasted bready. It's not even really bready. I just thought it was malty. I'm sure it doesn't. I'm sure it's it doesn't. It's like a sweet malt. I'm sure it doesn't hurt that it's a 12 ounce can instead of a 16 ounce can. I appreciate that. And like only <laughs> drinking like a half ounce and then pouring the rest in your cup is actually even better. But wow, he's actually going to finish the beer, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Just. Did we rate that one? It's the same way you deep throw. Did I we rate that? I said 4.0. Did, did I say not. something? You didn't rate. No, I think I did. Did I say 3. Point something? No. All right, well, if I didn't, then uh, 3.5. I'm going to give it a 3.5. And uh, you know what? I'm going to give it a 3.75, actually. Because all things considered, it's not that bad. It was an easy drinker. I didn't want to drink two cans of it, but uh, it uh, I would have it again. It wasn't bad. Yeah. So we've reached the end. We've reached the end of the, 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 the pumpkin show. Four beers, two from each of us. Ship Bottom Brewing Imperial Pumpkin Ale. That wasn't the first one. No, it wasn't. The first one was <laughs> Bolero Snort Pumpkin Spice Bucciato, which we then followed up with the Ship Bottom Brewing Imperial Pumpkin Ale. We slid on over to the Big Mother Pumpkin from Blue Point Brewing. And then, of course, we finished off here just, or at least I did. Frank didn't because he's a bitch with Departed Souls, Ghosts of Pumpkin Past. That's how we finished off. So, What do you think? Uh, I'm between two, to be honest with you, and I don't really, uh, I'm gonna actually going to go with, because I wasn't tortured with it, so I'm going to go with Big Mother Pumpkin as my favorite. Mm. Big Mother Pumpkin from Blue Points can be my favorite. I was going to say, I'm actually torn between the Mother Pumpkin and uh, the Part of Souls uh, Pumpkin Spice Tale. Yeah, me too. I mean, it was obviously between those two. I but do... since you tortured me with that one, that's the only reason why I went the other one. This one's very good, so... I'm going to go with the part of Souls. I feel like they had the better uh, taste uh, components. I feel like the, the pumpkin came through a little bit. The spices were good and toasty. It was kind of sweet. I think it was a better mix, in my opinion, for like a pumpkin beer. Um, I, although the mother pumpkin was actually pretty good, I just thought it was, it was slightly muted. And I don't know if it's just like a rendition of everything that happened prior to having that beer. But it was a lot lighter than the, the last one. It was just surprising because that was a gluten. So I don't even know how we're gonna go with this one, considering we're split gluten free. Yeah. Gluten so free. what do we do? What do we do? Uh, I think we fight to the death. Do you have a coin? These are our favorites here. It's the pumpkin spicy ale from uh, Departed Souls, and the Big Mother pumpkin from Blue Point. Those are gonna be our two favorites. Yeah, they were actually pretty good. Both of them are actually very good. Yeah, I they were like, actually very good. I actually like this one too. Except I like that the you spice one me just because. <laughs> I think if if you go past that, Doug. The fact that it was actually a little maltier, a little toastier, I think I like this one a lot more. I think you're sure. upset that I gave you more nah, of it. I'm not that upset. It could be worse. It could have been that one. Yeah. So. Could have been a stout, yeah, for sure. All right. Mercifully, thankfully, Thank you, Jesus. the pumpkin beer show comes to an end. But uh, We're going to stuff a, a, what is it, a pickle shot up in Doug's ass now. Yeah, there's no more pickle shots, believe pickle me. Shots. That was the first trick. Uh, if you remember in the beginning, though, Frank, I said I had two tricks for you, so... It wouldn't be right for us to get out of here without a second trick, which would be a bad beer of the night. We haven't done be a bad beer of the night in a long time. So, before we get out of here, we do have a bad beer. Thank you for no and, uh, fucking so, way. So, for our bad beer of the night, we actually have a double dry hopped Rock Me Dr. Citra, which is from 2017, hmm. December of 2017, from Magnify Brewing. So, let's see what we can do here with our bad beer of the night segment for our Rock Me Double dry hopped, rock me, Dr. Dr. Citra. Oh, <laughs> my God. Let me see your glass. You fucking, fucking filthy prick. No, let me pour it, because oh. I know you're going to be a douche. Pour it, right, pour it right. Oh, it smells like sewage all right. I can smell it over here. It smells like It smells like an outhouse. Oh. No, get that in there, Frank. Stop fucking around. Get that in there. I'm going to take a sip on camera. <laughs> oh. The rest is going to take oh. the rest. It's going to take the rest of the night. Oh, so. my God. Anyway, so this is a four-year-old double dry hopped uh, IPA, double IPA, called Rock Me Dr. Citra from December of 2017. I believe Magnify released this particular can. You excited, trick-or-treat, baby? Let's go. This is bad. 
Yeah? It's bad. It's not. It's perfect. It's bad. <sighs> Fuck you. I hate you. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. This is the gorilla's boost. Oh my god. What's oh, so bad? Oh, it tastes um, like wet cardboard. Oh, it tastes like you. it tastes like wet cardboard. It tastes like peat moss. Oh my eyes are watering, bro. Oh. It tastes like it tastes like uh, it tastes like uh, it tastes like forest urinal cake. Like if you licked a urinal with the fucking urinal cakes in it, it tastes like that one, but it has a forest cake. And someone had like uh, asparagus <clears throat> for dinner and they peed in it. Oh, oh man, yeah, it tastes like a par- asparagus piss. <clears throat> well, this was fun. I will say, um, I like I like uh, Halloween. This is great. Um, Fuck Halloween. What, what's our what are our pages again? I can't remember. Oh, uh, can't anyway, uh, <laughs> follow, us, follow us everywhere. Uh, you get your favorite podcasts at WGLB Network, also WGU Network on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram at Gorillas of Booze, at Booze Gorillas on Facebook, at Booze Gorillas on Twitter, at Doug GLB on Instagram. Platinum for Life. At Platinum for Life on Instagram. Yep. At Doug GLB on Untapped. At Frank the Tank on Untapped. Wow, this sucks. This is horrifying. So we went from like a shitty pumpkin beer. This to again the is oldest. This again is the scenario of like this will be funny. Oh wait, I have to drink it too. If you want to sit in with the girls of booze, drop us a DM at girls of booze on Instagram. <clears throat> uh, we've had uh, two or three people in the past couple of weeks talking about. Uh, Can I sit on your podcast? I assume you're joking, but maybe you're not. So. If you want to. <sighs> All right, Frank, let's finish these up. Let's just go right to it. Let's finish up the bad beers of the night. Because I know you didn't. I know you're trying to hide your fucking glass. Everybody can see this glass is not is not empty. Look. There we go. Rock and roll. Are you going all are you going all the way? All the way. All right, let's do it. We're gonna finish these up and get the fuck out of here. Bad beer of the night, girls of booze and house. We're just gonna chug them down, you know. Thanks for following. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> God damn, bitch. Oh. Eat a whole oh. dick, oh. dog. You, you, know what? you know what? Not for nothing. <laughs> you and I had a fucking gentleman's agreement. You're a fucking dick. Yeah. We're going to get out of here. Uh, thank you. God bless. Good night. <laughs> We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna suck this down. Yeah, he's, he's gonna, he's gonna suck something down. Hall- Happy Halloween!